You were bloody magnificent last night. I just said bloody. I could think of a better expression under the circumstances. It's a UK thing. So I've heard. Mm -hmm. Really? There's no way I would have gotten through it without you. You make a good team. That's what I wanted to speak to you about, actually. Before the power went out. This thing where I am your deputy and your doctor and your confidant and your friend. It is a lot. Yeah, it is. And it's not working. All last night, we needed to choose who to save. And every time, you chose all of the above. Yeah, I... No, that's not a criticism. I'm glad you did. You saved everyone. We saved everyone? Yes. It worked out. But sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes, you have to choose. And you couldn't. You just said it all worked out, and I don't see what me not triaging patients has to do with with us. It's what you do with your cancer as well. You want to stay healthy for your family, but you want to stay in charge of the hospital. You want the chemo, the strongest that we have, just not any of the side effects that come with it. From the day this began, from the day we met, you have refused to choose. I'm not refusing. It's not that easy. Look, Helen, all I want is a Max. You want everything. It's who you are. You are all of the above. And then you come to me with these demands, these inspiring, completely impossible demands, and I don't know who I'm supposed to be. It's supposed to be you. I've tried. I have tried to be all of the above. I can't. I can't be your friend and your doctor and your deputy, so I have to choose. I, I have to triage us. I'm going to ask Dr. Staunton to take over from me. She's an <laughs> exceptional oncologist. No. no, no, you don't. She'll be I, your new I... doctor, Max. She'll handle your care effective immediately. Well, what if I want you? I'm afraid that's no longer an option. Because we all want you. Thank you.